So I got a package from eBay. Um, I don't know where they got this tape. This is really cool. I want some. I want some eBay tape for the stuff I sell. Anyway, they have a cool eBay tape in a priority mail package. And this is this is what I got. Uh, you know, I've seen these. Never touched one before. Um, it is an Alinko product. Uh, Alinko, where are they from? Wheeling, Il Illinois. Huh. Anyway, it is a. Uh, it is an Alinko product, and it's I think what's called snap circuits. Uh, like I said, I've never, I've never played with them. I uh, got this real cheap off of eBay, so. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if this has been used and repackaged or it's just never been opened. It looks like it may have just never been opened, so that's pretty cool. Um, looks like there might be instructions over over on this side. Doesn't look like it's been opened opened either. Wow, it's brand new. So they, st they sell um, a variety of these kits, uh, depending on how many things you get. Um, I think this is like the medium, the medium kit. This is an SC, SC 500 kit. I don't know what 500 means, <laughs> um, but it comes with a kind of a, a baseboard that holds all the parts. And uh, I believe there's a, an SC750 kit. That's, I think, the biggest kit that they sell. Um, and so this are the project books. Projects 1 through 101. Projects 102 through 305. And 306 through 511. So maybe the 500 means there's 500 different projects. And uh, this gives you an idea of what it what the thing looks like. Um, they're like snaps like on a on your pants or something. Um, and um, so you shouldn't have to use any wires uh, like the old uh, Radio Shack kits. I've got a Radio Shack kit somewhere. I'll, I'll pull that out maybe for another video sometime. But this one just all snaps together which is which is cool. If it works. <laughs> uh, and wow project project one light uh lamp socket so there's a light bulb here and a switch and batteries so we should be able to build that one <laughs> what is like 500 let's take a look at like what what kit 500 we're doing let's see here uh oh it's got transistors and Inductors, what's this thing do? Electronic cat. Must meow. That's pretty cool. Alright. So should I make a video for every single project? <laughs> oh god. I need a lot of projects. 511. Okay, let's let's see. Let's keep this out. And let's open up our let's open up our components. I don't know what, they, what the correct term is for these things. Our snap, snap components. Uh, lots of them. So these are just like wires. Let's see. And they do snap together. So this is a two. I guess that's too long. Let's see here, let's pull back out, sorry. Zoomed in too far. And... Ooh. Alarm I see. That's cool. Here's a meter. A low, low range, high range... current meter, I guess. Uh, high frequency I see like a transistor to me. Here's an NPN transistor. Here's an inductor. Hmm. All kinds of stuff. Uh, 
Wow, this is great. It's got a motor. All kinds of stuff in here. Uh, uh, here's the battery. The battery holder. We'll need that. And we need the light bulb. Uh, there's a relay. Here's a seven segment display. That's pretty cool. Uh, what is this? 100 microfarad capacitor. A music I see. We can play music. Uh, ooh, big speaker. Uh, all kinds of stuff here. Let me, uh, let me dig through this. I'll find the, uh, I'll find the LED, or I guess it's an LED. Maybe it's an incandescent. And, um, uh, find some batteries, uh, AA batteries for this, and, uh, we'll get up and running. All right. So I guess I don't understand the kit quite yet. This might be the S. C500 might be an add-on kit and maybe the easier projects you're supposed to have already had stuff for that uh, or maybe it's I don't know anyway I couldn't find the I couldn't find the correct lamp it's supposed to have a two two and a half volt light it has a six volt light um, and I did get two battery things, so I could put six volts of battery and then use the six volt uh, incandescent lamp. Um, but what I decided to do was I found an LED and I found um, a 1K resistor. So I have six volt or three volts through the LED and then through a switch. And when I turn the switch on, the LED comes on. So that's cool. And then we could put in instead of, I like the snaps. Snaps are pretty cool. Um, we could take this out and we could put in a motor instead. Okay, got the motor all, uh, all connected up here. Um, looks like there was A propeller that you could add to this or maybe the propeller broke um, so maybe this was used I'm not sure anyway I've got the uh, circuit here I've got the batteries into the uh, motor and then we'll turn it on and sure enough motor spins so uh, yeah I like it uh, the snaps seem quite uh, reliable and um, It'll be fun to see what all what all the book has, what all different circuits are. Like what does a what does a music circuit do? And what does a TR circuit do? FM. FM radio? I don't know, maybe it's a built-in FM radio, that's pretty cool. Uh that's an amplifier? Uh Amplifier, FM radio, uh, my music I see, uh, yeah, all kinds of stuff. So, we could, uh, let's see, we could add to this. We could see, we could see how much current draw there is. Let's see, let's add our, uh, oops, get stuff out of the way. Too confusing. All right. So we'll snap that together and we will connect uh, one of these and one of these. There we go. And high, we'll keep it on high. Let's turn it on. Ah, we've got a little current, current here. Put it on low. Oh, pe peg the meter. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at this. When I turn it on, I'm getting about one. So whatever that is, we can measure it. Figure out, figure out what one means. One milliamp. Who knows? So great. This is going to be a great kit. I really like this. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, let me do some reading and uh, find
find some cool projects and do some more videos.